Welcome to the lesson on customizing charts and visualizations. In this lesson, you will learn about the available visualization types and how to change from one to another. You will also learn how to modify chart configurations such as data labels, colors of visualizations, and so on. Let's take a look now at working with different chart configurations. Let's start with a simple search by entering a natural language query such as show me the sales by category in Spotter. Click it next to search tokens. We see that ThoughtSpot first displays the best fit visualization. However, the chart type can always be changed by clicking change visualization icon. Here we see all of the visualizations available in ThoughtSpot. If the required visualization is grayed out, we can hover the cursor over it, and a tooltip appears indicating what is needed. For example, some charts require at least one attribute and one measure, while others require at least one attribute and at least two measures. If we want to change to a different chart type, we can select from the available visualizations. Let's change the chart from a column to a donut chart. The visualization updates to reflect the change. To make further chart configuration changes, we can click Edit Chart Configuration icon. Some additional chart configuration options are displayed, which vary depending on the chart type selected. For this donut chart, let's click on the total sales measure to change the display settings. Here, we can do things like adding data labels and changing the format for those data labels. If we select currency, we can set the currency to any of the available ISO currency codes. For the unit, select million to display the currency in millions. We use the back arrow to go back to the data configuration panel. Now, let's change the format of the attribute category. Here we can change the colors associated with the donut chart. Now, let's add another column to the search. Let's say we wanted to see this data also broken down by state. We can simply add store state to the search. Click Go. Notice that the visualization did not change. In the Edit Chart panel, we can easily see which columns are not visualized. To include the store state column in the chart, let's drag and drop it into the Category section. Click Apply. Now, we see that each slice of the chart represents both the category and state, 